great game. Tennessee ranked 11th. You know, you're, you're, you're playing the floor. You're playing the Florida Gators. You're going into the Swamp. Tennessee haven't won in the Swamp since 2015. Um, they, sorry, they were last favourite to win in 2015. They haven't won since 2003. But you boys weren't born the last time they won in the Swamp. Like that's, and you're just, you're just both fully grown men now. Do you know what I mean? Like, boys, that, that's a long time ago. And that, that, that's all I'll say. Um, the Gators opened the season a few weeks ago with a 24 11 loss against Utah. Bounced back. Um, against McNeese last week, Tennessee won 49-13 against Virginia. Um, and then also didn't play great in the 30-13 win against Austin. I, I mean, I did. I, I had to Google who Austin P were. I yeah, had never heard of them in my life. Like classic, classic week two Tennessee where there's Austin P fixture that is just so college football in September. The thing is, like, you know, you're playing that sort of team there. And then you're going up against Florida. It, it's it's going to be an interesting matchup. I, I think, Dara, out of all the games we've talked about this week, this is the closest one. And I'm going to take Tennessee to to lose against Florida. I think I think Florida is going to beat Tennessee at the weekend. I'm going to stick my neck out here and just have a bit of crack. Like, obviously, Tennessee need to be better and get better. But why not? Like, we've seen what happened last week with Bama and Texas. Why can't Florida go in and beat them this week? Yeah, this is a like one of the biggest home field is such a massive um, change in this game. If this game was in Tennessee, Tennessee are maybe oh, they could be up as seventeen or twenty point favorites. They're only favored by seven in in Florida. Um, like it's a classic Ben Hill Griffin Stadium. It's just an electric stadium. It's one of the ones that. I would have on my bucket list of going to a college football game. It just is really, really unique in everything about it. And they've got won't back down this thing there. It's it's just sort of really one of the cooler scenes in college football. But in terms of the actual game, surprised to see Tennessee only as a seven point favorite in this one. But it's uh, such an unknown Florida side because we knew coming into the year they weren't ranked. But like that's very uncharacteristic of Florida. They're traditionally a really good team. They haven't really took a step back in recruiting. They haven't been great under Billy Napier, but they've been fine. You would have still pegged them to be ranked, especially with Graham Mertz, a quarterback, transfer over from Wisconsin. We The jury's a game is still out on him, but we've seen these college quarterbacks struggle in one place, transfer, and uh, with a few years of experience, find massive, massive improvements in their second landing spot. So I'm interested to see where, where this Florida team comes. They're not going to be overly optimistic after what happened in week one. And then Utah, who beat them comfortably in week one, almost come as close as it possibly could to losing uh, against Baylor there this week. And so, I mean, that's not going to bode well for confidence in Florida. As on the Tennessee side, they've just kept rolling like not like I would miss the beat of Joe Milton, the quarterback, who has been a great replacement for Hendon Hooker so far. I feel like it's a tough one to call. And I don't hate the Florida upset pick in this one. I think that Tennessee wins it. And I don't think this is a blowout of any proportion. I think it's gonna make a close game. Arnold, I was born in 1991, 20 years before that. That was the last time Tennessee was ranked and Florida was not going into this game. That's a long time ago, Dar uh, Connell, because like, see, I almost got through the whole podcast by mixing the names up. But that's Connell. That, that that's a long time ago, mate. I mean, twenty years before I was born. Yeah, like that's actually kind of a crazy stat because when you consider it's mental, like there, like there's been times where like both haven't been good and both one has been good, one hasn't been good for like. You know, in the last 20 years, and like surely there would have been some early season kind of upset type thing. That's actually, I I wish I had that step. Um, but I guess going back to, I mean, like Tennessee, like, yeah, they're, they're I think last season with Hendon Hooker getting injured, it allowed Joe Milton to actually come in and, you know, play a couple of games. I mean, the last two or three games of that last season. So it did kind of help last season and coming into this year. He just kind of keeps playing the way he has been playing. At, now, to be fair, not against the highest of quality opposition. And I think I, I would definitely favor them in this matchup. Like, But I I don't think there will be an upset here, even going into this thing. I 
I just haven't been really convinced by Florida. Like they don't really have anything that would tip me over the edge to to maybe put it in their favor other than like the home field advantage. Like this and for an offense as well as one of those, you know, look at this read. This is your read. Don't go off this read. You throw it to this guy no matter what type offenses. Usually those like don't run the ball too well, but like Tennessee runs the ball extremely well. Like they have Jalen Wright and <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> and Jabari Rob. Small and Jabari Small both have over uh, one has over 200 yards and then Jabari Small has over 150 yards this year so they're they're pretty good at what they do already and they have a tight end in McCallan Castles which is actually a great name they also have a wide receiver called Squirrel uh, Squirrel like his first name is Squirrel no it's um, nice yeah yeah that's that's down as his first name i don't know if it's one of those like kool-aid mckinstry like nickname where like you just have to call me this type of jobs uh but that's that's what he goes by squirrel and yeah i think they'll definitely win this like florida couldn't put up a winning season last year even with anthony richardson who was a top five pick uh graham mertz as dara said was very highly rated but hasn't really proved anything since getting into college so yeah, I think, you know, Florida is one of those teams where I looked at their schedule and they're not bad. They're playing enough bad teams to get six wins, but they play enough good teams to not get like eight, over eight wins is basically the way I can put it. And just to go on that squirrel thing before we do wrap up here, boys, Marquarius Malik Squirrel White. 